Welcome back to the Trailblazer League. Yesterday, I made some big gains on the total levels, took rank one overall and got over 1,000 total level. But that all means nothing without the Trailblazer points to match. I've got 180 points to my next relic, and the plan is to use my skills and smash through as many tasks as possible today and unlock some of these relics. Some of the next relics are very overpowered and I would love to start using those as soon as possible before I start doing PVM and other sorts of stuff. 100 lobsters caught. Very AFK activity, but it was nice for me to take a little break from the grind. And that is a 50 point medium task. So very quickly, I fletched up two short bows, 150 arrows and cut a sapphire. I'm able to unlock my next relic here. I think building a whacker canoe is actually a 50 point task. Which means it is time for relic number three. So in this tier, every relic doubles the speed of your weapons, but this one's range, this one's melee, and this one's mage. Each of the combat styles has a boosted accuracy for its respective relic. However, in addition to that, the range one has an ammo saving effect and the mage one has a rune saving effect, while the melee one has a damage soaking effect and an increased rate in healing for your hit points. So for me, the choice is definitely between the first two, but I think I've decided that I'm going to go for the melee one just because I'm going to use melee more. I'm going to be attacking with a two tick dragon simi or a whip and stuff like that. Might have some regrets in the end, but for now, fluid strikes is locked in. Here's me stabbing a unicorn at accelerated speed. I attack at the same attack speed as a blowpipe in the main game every two ticks. The tier three relics are so strong. <laughs> You already know we're cooking up some points in this kitchen. Okay, so I think the best way to get the most out of doing my tasks is to section them off into areas. So for the time being, I'm off to Karamja to do all the tasks I think are reasonable. And then we will move on to the next region. One ticket, but I'm going to stay here for 10 and train my agility for a bit. This will never get old for me. I used to love this animation as a kid. And there we go, 10 tickets. Unfortunately, I can't spend these on experience. If I trade Jackie, we have to waste 10 whole tickets on one Snapdragon. But I get 50 points for it, so it's all worth it, isn't it? Is it? Right, I mined some gem rocks and then sold them to the store. And apparently I can get in here with that. Cool. Enter the type bro. Wani hardwood grow 50 points. Oh, I can't even cut the trees in it. That's a scam. Rune full helm. Oh, I got a hard clue. No way. Entering the fishing guild is a 50 pointer. Very nice. My fishing is actually paying off with a lot of tasks here. Swan song is also completed with Kandarin, which means I can come straight here and there's a fat task inside these walls. I can already fish monkfish. These will actually be pretty decent food, but... This is going to be my very first hard task when it catches. Fish and monkfish, 100 points. Hey, there we go. Caught a red salamander and that is another 50 point task and a good reason that I got my hunter up early. The goal is to knock out as many tasks as possible. So get used to hearing points and tasks and 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 points and tasks. <laughs> A dragon dagger that's so sick. Oh, I need sixty attack to wear it. Sixty attack, it is time to use my new best weapon. Task completed for unlocking. Oh my god, I can't even click fast enough. It's specking so fast. Look at it go. Oh, this is going to be amazing. I love this relic. Oh my god, I just got fat Ranars off this patch. I had one Ranar seed. And I've got 12 Ranars off that. The RNG in the Trailblazer League is very good right now. This is a weird one. Normally, I'd buy my Eyes of Newts from Jatix in Tavale, But I've got to come all the way into the Ogre place to buy eyes of newts from this random guy. There we go, pickpockets are guards, and now I can actually unlock my next area. I have another choice. Originally, I thought I wanted to do Mauritania as my second one, but actually I'm really still quite at the early game, and I don't think Mauritania is very good for that. Also, the tasks do seem a bit awkward. Could go with Zarnia for God Wars, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I just don't enjoy a lot of the content there. So I'm going to pick probably a weird one for most people. I'm actually going to pick Fremenic as my second area. 
The Fremenic province. Do I want to do this? Yes, I do. There are a lot of benefits to picking the Fremenic region. A lot of really good utility stuff. You get Vorkath, you get DS2, Blast Furnace, Lunars, loads of really nice things. And also the task list for there is pretty decent. Not to mention, if you unlock Fremenic, you unlock all these quests along with Dragon Slayer 2. And I don't know about you guys, but I can't be bothered to quest on the Trailblazer League. <laughs> yeah. Where does it teleport me to in the Fremenic province? I imagine it's just in Relica Marketplace. And it is. That's actually a pretty decent spot for a telly because it's quite annoying to get here sometimes. All right then, got a whole new bunch of tasks to complete here and I will go around doing them now. These islands are actually fairly useful as well. But I do need to do Fremenic Isles because I can't get to Nate's not yet. 158 tasks to the next area. One of the main perks of Fremenic, I get access to the whole of the Lunar Spellbook. Unlocking that's a task and plenty of tasks on this. It's going to help out a ton. Fremenic also includes Keldegrim, which means I can use the Blast Furnace and the shops in here, which are really good. One hard task completed, 100 points. Catching a Snowy Knight is also a task here. It's only 35 Hunter and it, that gives 50 points, which is very good as well. I still haven't seen a single person here. Has anyone picked Fremenic? Is it just like, is it just me? Dagonoth is beating me up. Dagonoth now. Nice. Okay, 50 points for that, just for killing one monster. Here we go, Astral Rune Crafting. 50 Astral Runes, 50 points. Oh, that's a good way to train my RC in the future. One very nice synergy between Fremenic and Kandarin is now I actually have access to the Myth Guild. A hard task at 100 points, and this place will potentially be very useful to me in the future. Figured I may as well grab 43 Prayer down here on the Baby Dragons because... Now, that's got me feeling a little bit safer when doing tasks. Is this part of the video again? Say the line, Bart! 65% of you are not subscribed to the channel. A subscription really supports me and it helps you a lot because you keep up to date with the content that you enjoy. 50 swordfish, 50 points. The plan of action from here is, I'm actually pretty close to my next relic. I'm only 380 points away. So I may as well just go knock out some more tasks. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, rap attack, Mr. Magic Molly Mall. I let my tape rock to my tape pop. Smoking weed and bamboo, sipping on private stock. Way back when I had the red and black lumberjack. Now this is an outfit, the new fashion, 50 points for equipping all the chaos, but that's unimportant compared to, we've got a new relic to unlock, natural selection versus treasure seeker. Now these are two remakes from the Twisted League, I actually picked both of them last time. Treasure Seeker this time is way more nerfed though. You get 1 in 20 clues, but you can't even complete them all because some of the steps are in regions you can't even access. So I am not picking that one. No way. Unnatural selection all the way for me. 25% of superior slayer monsters on your superior tasks. And you get to pick your slayer tasks. I want to be in control of my own destiny. Give me my trailblazer destiny i've been taking a look through all the tasks and i've managed to spot that there's a really easy elite task 60 laps in a row of agility brimhaven arena madness without any interruptions and then you get 250 points as an elite task no it's red why is it red when you go back i teleported out as soon as i tagged it and it was Oh, why did I tell I teleported out for more food? I'm so stupid. I just wasted 29 minutes. I mean, it wasn't a total waste. I do get my agility XP. I can spam the tickets and that gets me all the way to level 58, which is decent, but frustrating that there's no direct points for that. No, you can't be serious. My client's frozen and I'm on 36, I'm on 36 tickets. I could have been done with this 250 pointer by now. I'm going to miss it. How do I feel? I can't fix this. I'm just going to listen to the sound of silence on repeat for the next hour while I do this again. What was supposedly an easy task turned out to be an absolute bloody nightmare. 250 points for 60 tickets in a row. Also, huge XP drops, 234k and a 47k, 70 agility, my first level 70, more points. 
All right, it's redeemed. It's fine. We can do all the agility tasks now. This has 80 agility requirement, but my plus 12 relic comes in strong for 100 points here. Whenever I don't know what to do, I come and cut you logs because it's slow and it's AFK and it needs to be done eventually. And I need to burn 100. I am not a rich man right now. And that just felt like lighting my net worth on fire for 100 points. Pretty much was. Remember rapping you, the hard, the hard. You never thought that hip hop would take it this far. Now I'm in the limelight cause I rhyme tight. Time to get paid, blow up like the world train. Born sinner, the opposite of a winner. Remember when I used to eat sardines for dinner. Peace to Raw G, Brucey B, kick the free. Funk Master Flex, Love Bug Star Ski. And that's why you don't choose the clue relic, because you can't even complete half the steps because they're not even in your region. Jagex really do love to dress you up any way they want. 50 points is 50 points. Not sure how I didn't do this sooner. Sometimes really nice tasks just get lost in the sea of like endless planning. As a YouTuber, it's my definite duty to inform you that I'm rank one on the Trailblazer League right now. Oh my god. Now, nah, for real though, I was trying to smash out points today and to get rank one. I'm very happy with that. That was one of my goals. After this point, I started to put a really good run together and I actually remained rank one for the rest of the 12 hours of today. And I'm still rank one now after spending three hours editing and doing other stuff. If you are playing Trailblazer, I definitely would stress focusing on the tasks. There's no point doing really long grinds early on, like training hunters to 99 or something like that. If you're trying to make things somewhat efficient, you want to focus in on the relics because they're just going to help you so much with your progression. I've just been spamming any old implings to catch 200 at Pori Pori for 100 points. And it's a pretty good haul of loot, if you ask me. Just got level 63 thieving and a bit more cash because I was looking pretty strapped for it. And now I can actually steal from a gem stall. There we go, 100 points. That's the Fables 250 pointer from last league. All right, two pints. This is going to be a very good cape because it teleports me straight next to an altar. And I also get the XP lamp, which I think I'm going to go for Herb Lord because I got my protection prayers now. So why not just send 30,000 XP onto Herb Lord? 42. Very, very nice. And of course, I can just come straight here to recharge my prayer for Slayer, bossing, and all that sort of stuff. First use of the fourth relic. What can I choose here? Got a bunch of tasks. Uh, I'm going to start off with Cockatrice. Medium task of a jelly done. There's a lot of really easy points available through Slayer, so definitely going to be coming back to these. Right, I've invested into 1k cast of Fire Strike. This is going to trade my magic up. There's a bunch of magic tasks I can't do because I've got such a low level right now. And hopefully I get a Granite Shield, which is a task, or a Rune Kite Shield to Alk. Oh, the Granite Shield. Perfect. That is the Task Shield as well, so that was my preferred. Oh, I can't wear it yet. I'm not 50 defense. Hey, 50 defense. Now I can wear my Granite Shield, which is a medium task. Right, here we go. Been thieving the knight over and over. It's actually really bad money at this level, but I got 80 thieving. Well, effectively 80 thieving. And now I can pickpocket this hero, which is a pretty decent task. I think it's 100 points. Hey, 1250 total. 50 points. We are getting up there in the levels. And also... My money struggles are about to be over because I can do 58 plus 12 and I can go to Cure Asks and make bank. A 58 Slayer. Now that actually means I can go with my plus 12 boost and start killing some Cure Asks, which have an incredible drop table. This 30k cash stack is going to be a thing of the past, but I do need to do it with a leaf bladed spear. What? That just cost me my bank. Are you serious? Just hopping for snape grass. And now we're rank one total level. And we're rank one league points by a long way. 16 hours later, my apple tree didn't die. 50 points for that one. I'm glad I got lucky on a tree seed early on from a bird's nest there. 150 slayer points for 10 tasks in a row. And now I'm going to unlock bigger and badder as it's 1 in 25 with my perk. So that means I'm gonna be getting tons of superior Slayer monsters and a lot better experience. All right, I've got one mossy key for the Moss Giant boss. It's a task. I want to make sure I do it, but I've never actually killed it before. So I don't know if I am like over preparing here. Well, that was incredibly easy. Buying my Myths Cape. I forgot about this one, the Mythical Cape. It's a plus two strength bonus. And I am looking like an absolute quester and I haven't actually done a thing. Also, I can just teleport straight to the Myths Guild. And yeah, pretty nice telly close to a bank. I got a clue geode. Elite clue. Oh, no way. Oh, I can't actually do that one. 
Oh my god, no way. Oh, 55 mining, no way. Guess what? I had to get myself a nature talisman, train my rune crafting, and craft a nature rune for this elite clue. And then I had to drop it on step five. And there it is. The final task. 50 points. And now I can unlock a brand new tier of relics. But for the first time, I'm really not sure which one to pick. First up, we have the botanist. Crops grow five times faster than normal. Resources gathered from farming are multiplied by two. Mixing potions always results in a four-dose potion and there's a 95% chance of saving your secondary ingredients and stats boosted above their base level will no longer drain back down over time. Meaning I could range pot and be permanently range potted. Infernal Gathering turns all your tools into infernal tools from old school RuneScape like the Infernal Axe, the Harpoon, the Pickaxe not too interesting probably not gonna go for this one and equilibrium this one is very interesting each time you gain xp you gain additional xp equal to 10 percent of your total level so this means for every action i take that gains me xp i'd gain 131 xp in that skill for my total level right now even if it was like burying some bones from a chicken this might have some very niche uses but i'm just so torn but the problem I face is the regions I'm picking, it's really hard to get range potions. So this really appeals to me because if I can just be permanently range potted up for my PVM activities, that would be great. However, something just draws me to the bonus XP. I'm not sure. I'm not going to decide now. I'm going to leave it for a little bit. The passive effect from this relic makes items three times more common. So now it's time to go PVMing, get loads of good items and cool stuff and really flesh out the account. So I'm not just looking like a pleb running around in a kayak hat. And of course, your boy has made it sustained rank one total overall, but more importantly, rank one league points overall by a thousand. Impressive margin, maybe. Maybe I'm just a no life and nerd. Who knows? But I'm very happy. I wanted to get first in the league at some point, and I've definitely sustained it for a fair few hours today, which has been very nice. Right, I've been sat here thinking about this for ages, and I think I have come to a decision. I'm going to choose Equilibrium. I feel like I can make my potions work. I can get wines from Theatre of Blood, that sort of stuff. I don't care about secondaries or making four dose potions and stuff. Potions are fine. I just have to be on it with them. Equilibrium, though... I'm a big fan of relics which affect every part of your gameplay and whenever I gain XP I'm going to be benefiting from this so I'm going to select Equilibrium, lock that one in and I'm the first in-game with the fifth relic and looking at the sixth ones I've got 7,400 points until I complete the set of relics here and these ones are very interesting, the combat ones and I'll be working towards those next time on the Solo Emission channel. And if you don't know, now you know, nigga.